Hello everyone, welcome back. Time is now 11.07, December 31st, 2020. By the time I release this video, it'll be in the new year. So I wish everyone a happy new year and good luck with whatever you do in 2023. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to install and use the Stable Diffusion AMD Web UI for Windows. Before I start, I want to let you know that there might be a solution for speed boost for AMD card users and it looks promising. Make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video to find out what it is. Without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, we need to install Python and Git. I'm not going to go through the Python installation because it's rather straightforward. You just want to install Python from the official website, python.org. And then you can come to here, downloads, go to, I'm assuming you're win using Windows and just grab one of the versions here. Do not do not use version 3.11. Uh, just grab any version here, 3.10 or 3.9, 3.8. Uh, grab the 64-bit version. So I'm not going to go through the installation in details, but I want to point out one thing uh, during the Python installation. When you open up the installer, you so here I'm using 3.10.7, but you don't have to use this version. Just use whatever you can find on this website. You want to make sure that you check this box at Python 3.10 or 3.978, whatever you're using. And then you proceed with the rest of the installation, because if you don't check this box, then you're going to have a lot of headaches. So make sure you check this. And after Python installation, you want to install Git. And this is the site for Git. And you can just click on this button here, download for Windows, get the installer, and then install it. So once you have Python and Git, then the next step is you want to come to this GitHub repository. Uh, don't worry about the links. I'll leave all the links in the description below. You want to download the code from this GitHub repository. The easiest way is just to come to here, uh, click on this button, and then uh, download the zip file. Once you're in the web UI folder, you want to click on this start.bat file. If this is the first time that you're running this file, you might get a message like this. So this is just for security reasons that Windows Defender will block you from running the file. But you can click on this more info and click on it, uh, run it. Essentially, you're just going to create a Python virtual environment for you. And then it's also going to install all the libraries that you need to run Stable Diffusion on an AMD graphic card. So that means the Diffusers library, also the Onyx library and the Onyx Nightly Build libraries. Open up this requirements.txt file to see what libraries are being used. So this process will take a moment and essentially it will use this folder as your working folder and it will install everything into this folder. If this is the first time you're running this, then you get this error message, no module name diffusers. So I'm not sure how to fix this at the moment, but you can just close the window here and then reopen the start.bat. And then this web UI will pop up. So first of all, this um, is what I call the one click installation. So basically you don't have to type any Thing in the comment prompt or install any virtual environments because the bat file would take care of all of that. This kind of one click installation was inspired by the automatic 1111 web UI. And because I'm using the same UI framework, uh, which is called Gradio, the same UI framework as automatic 1111. So that's why it looks kind of similar to his UI. Like I mentioned in the YouTube posting, right now this web UI tool has limited functionality. So it can do also image to image. It does not have any in-painting functionalities right now. And it also doesn't have as many features as included in the automatic 1111 web UI. But I still want to make this public because a lot of people are still having trouble with the Hugging Face login password, especially. And also, I know a lot of people are not fan of using Command Prompt. So hopefully this tool will give you better experience running Stable Diffusion if you have an AMD card. So right now there's an obvious disadvantage with the AMD card compared to NVIDIA is that the AMD card is very slow when generating images. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there might be a solution for a speed boost for AMD. It's a very new and I just learned about it yeah, like today. So I haven't really had a chance to take a look at what it is yet, but make sure you watch to the end of the video to find out. Okay, so let's get back to this web UI. And the first thing, of course, is where do we get the model? This web UI is really just a graphical interface built with Gradio on top of the Diffusers library. Um, it's nothing fancy. It, it's pretty much based on all open source libraries. 
and because it's based on diffusers, which means hugging face, and that also means that we need a hugging face login password. So to log in to hugging face, all you need to do is come to the settings and click on this uh, link right here and log into your Hugging Face site. Once you're on this page, just click on this thing here. This will copy your Hugging Face token. See that says copied? And then go back to your Gradio or the AMD Web UI. So now here, you can actually press Control and V to paste the token here. And then you can just click on the Login Hugging Face. Then you should see this message, Login Success. So hopefully this is now a much easier and better experience for a lot of people because I know tons of people had trying to just log into Hugging Face using the common prompt. So once we have that, you want to get your models, your stable diffusion models. Come to the model manager here and and to get a stable diffusion model, you can actually use any stable diffusion model published on Hugging Face. What I mean by that is once you click into a model page and then come to the files and versions, and if you see these folder structures, then it means this is a diffusers um, format model. So this kind of model with this web UI. As of now, you cannot use the CKPT, the .ckpt file, the checkpoint file. It is possible to convert a CKPT file into a diffusers model. I will include that feature into this UI. So I'm going to do a walkthrough on how to download and install the Stable Diffusion 2 model with this web UI. So you can come to this Hugging Face site, Stable Diffusion 2, and then just click on this icon here to copy essentially this uh, string. And then you come back to the web UI and paste it here. So here you can press Control V. All you need is the publisher's name and then the model name. That's all. And then click on the download model. So behind the scene, this is going to download the diffusers model from Hugging Face from this site. And then because we're using AMD card, so we have to use Onyx. And then after the model download, it will also convert the diffusers model into Onyx files so that we can use the Onyx files for creating images. So this process will take a bit uh, depending on how fast your internet connection is and also how fast your computer is. So I'm going to let it run and then come back once it's done. While we're still waiting for the model download, I want to introduce you to my latest project. It's a website that will allow you to create your own AI generated avatars or profile images using Stable Diffusion. This is a website based service and the site URL is iimagelab.com because training the model and generating images require GPU server. So I have to run the GPU to provide this service. Unfortunately, this cannot be a free service, but it costs only $10 per order. And for each order, you will get 120 unique portrait mode uh, avatars. So by portrait mode, what I mean by that is it'll be in this kind of uh, shape. So it's not the squared. The image resolution will be 512 by 768, and you will get 120 high quality profile images using Stable Diffusion and, of course, your own photo. So if you like my tutorials and want to support me, please consider buying a package from this website. I really appreciate it. So yes, I made this website myself uh, from scratch. Uh, if there's enough interest, I'll consider to make some tutorials to talk about how I created this website. Right now, I have a promotion for the new year, so it's only $10 for a package which contains 120 high quality portrait mode avatar images. All right, so the model download and Onyx conversion just completed and the time now is 11.49. And we started downloading the model around 11.27, uh, I think. So it took about 20 something minutes to, to finish the download, which is a pretty big files and also the uh, conversion to Onyx files. Once you go into the folder, you should see this subfolder Onyx models showing up. And in here, you will see the Stable Diffusion 2. And these are the diffusers or the Onyx files. If you open up any one of them, you will see the, uh, instead of diffuser files, you will see the .onyx files. So from here, you have to unfortunately uh, close this black screen and then reopen it again. Like I mentioned before, the code right now is really rough and it's uh, actually super unorganized. I didn't want to publish this before because of the reasons that I just mentioned. Uh, but I thought that it might help more people have a better experience with stable diffusion if you're using AMD card. So that's why I decided to publish it anyways. 
So let me close down this and reopen the web UI. Click on the start.bat again. And the reason for this is to load the model property. So now we have this in here in the select a model section, we should see the stable diffusion two model here. So you can select this and it's going to take a little bit uh, to load the model. So now the model is ready and now you can use stable diffusion two on AMD car. So let me just try a prompt. And because it takes a lot of resource to generate images on AMD cards, so I'm going to stop the recording and then press the generate. And I'll show you the results uh, after I generate the image. All right, I'm back now. So uh, as you can see from this console window, it took us about 2 minutes and 20 seconds, 30 steps. This is really slow using AMD. And the card I'm using right now is the RX 580, the 5 gigabyte VRAM card. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there's a potential solution for a speed. Um, I don't know how much it's going to increase, but it looks promising. And I'll talk about it at the end of the video. So this is pretty much it for the text to image. And next, let me show you the image to image function. So for image to image, first thing is uh, we also need to load the model first. And then we can just drag an input image over to here. This is going to be the input image. And I know this is not a 512 by 512 size, but let's try it anyways. And then in the prompt, I'm going to type landscape fantasy world, something like that. And the model is ready. So now I'm going to stop the recording and then hit the generate button. And once it's done, I'm going to come back. All right. So we just finished the image to image generation. And that actually took over 15 minutes. So you can see how slow it is, especially when you have a non-standard size image. I think this image is quite big. That's why it took so long. So for this image, it's actually uh, 1024 times 512. So that's why it took super long to generate this image. But the point is, as you can see, it works for this UI. And I want to show you one tip using this UI. Now, this is the web UI folder, and you probably noticed this already. Once you download a model, uh, you will have the model's folders appear inside this Onyx model folder. But the thing is, these are the Onyx folders. Remember that when we first installed the model, we actually downloaded the diffusers mod. So where do we have that saved? Let me show you. By default, it's in your C drive, users, and then you, your username, and in a cache folder. So it's now uh, in hugging face, then diffusers. So these are the actual diffusers models. And we actually don't need to use these uh, for our purposes because for this web UI, we have to use Onyx files. And these are uh, the exact same diffusers model that we downloaded from Hugging Face. So over time, if you download a lot of models, then you will see that your C drive will fill up pretty quickly because these models are, are quite large. As you can see, this one is close to 10, 10 gigabytes. So uh, it's uh, perfectly safe to remove these models because these are the diffusers models. Last but not least, just today, a, a couple of viewers on my channel left me a message about this uh, Nod AI Shark framework. And apparently AMD card can also use this framework for stable diffusion. And it seems like a lot quicker than the Onyx uh, file formats. So I haven't really look into the code for this framework yet, but it looks promising. And if I go down here, they also have a simple web UI uh, that comes with the code. So feel free to try that. I haven't tried this personally yet. So I just learned about this framework just today. And um, but I wanted to share this with you guys in case you want to try this. And I will look into this to see if it works with the web UI that I created. If it does, then I can try to replace the Onyx framework with this new one so that we can generate images faster. All right, that's all for this video. And now it's literally January 1st, 2023. So Happy New Year, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.